let's begin with book one. In book one of level one, we are learning to count and identify units, X's and X squares, and the notation that we can use with them. Let's do a few examples. Here is page 16 from the workbook. The left-hand column is our X squares. The bottom line is our X's. And the right-hand column is our units. Based on the blocks that you see, what kind are they and how many are there? The kind is units and how many is six. So our answer is six units. Let's do the problem on the bottom. What is the kind? They are x squares. And how many of them are there? Nine. Our answer is nine x squared. Good job. Let's move on to book two. In book two of level one, we introduce the addition symbol. We will push our like kinds together, count them, and identify their symbols. Let's do a few examples. Again, we will push together, tell how many, and what kind. This example is taken from the bottom of page eight. Here we want to count like kinds and circle the answer that tells how many and what kind. We have how many x squares? One. How many x's? Three. How many units? Three. Our answer would be one x square, three x's, and three units. On the top of page 12, we see the following picture. First, we write how many of each kind. Top row would be one x square, one x, and one unit. Bottom row would be two x square, one x, and two units. Push together, there are how many x squares? Three. How many x's? Two. How many units? Three. Good, let's do the next one. In the top row, we are counting two x squares, two x's, and three units. In the bottom row, we are counting three x squares, three x's, and four units. Together, there are how many x squares? Five. How many x's? Five. How many units? Seven. Great. Now on to book three. In book three of level one, we become more familiar with written algebraic expressions. Let's do a few examples. Let's look at the example at the top of page three. You have already done this, so it will be easy for you. How many x squares do we have? Two. How many x's? Two. How many units? Four. Which of the written algebraic expressions at the bottom of the problem does this represent? Right, the first one. Now on to page 20. Let's tell how many of each kind, then count them, then write the answer. The top row is 2x squared, 2x, and 2 units. The bottom row is 1x squared, 6x, and three units. Counting the same kinds added together, there are three x square plus eight x plus five units. The last problem is done the same way. There are four x square, four x, and six units, and one x square, five x, and nine units. There are 5x square plus 9x plus 15. You're doing great. Finally, we look at book four. In book four of level one, we get more experience using standard algebraic notation. On page five, there are three algebraic additions. We will tell how many of each kind, then add. Let's look at the last one on the page. 
there are three x squares, two x, and nine. And three x squared, three x, and one. Which notation to the right is correct? Right, the second one. And how many is three x squared, and two x, and nine, plus, 3x squared and 3x and 1. 6x squared plus 5x plus 10. Let's do another one from page 16. The notation tells us how many and what kind. We will show pictures that correspond to the notation. The top row looks like this. 2x squared, 4x and four. The bottom row looks like this. 2x squared, 4x, and three. Our answer would be written 4x squared plus 8x plus seven. Good. Now let's do one more on page 20. We can see a picture of the blocks on the left. We will complete the notation. The top row is 8x squared plus 8x and no units. The bottom row is 1x squared plus 1x plus 1. Our answer is 9x squared plus 9x plus 1. So how are you doing? This ends the study of the first fundamentals of algebra. Congratulations! You should stop the tape and take some time to review the books that we have talked about and try some of the examples in the books. Keep in mind that you should work at your own pace. Get a firm grasp of these fundamentals and you are well on your way.